Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, February 5th to the 6th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave. If you would, I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Please also note that energy and time are fluid, so feel free to switch up the rules as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. Okay, let me get some cards here. Oh, I got a card. Another lot that came out, Virgo. Then I'm going to get a message from the universe, from the angels, from whatever wants to give me one. Okay. Okay, Virgo, I'm hearing, beware of loving enemies, wolves in sheep's clothing. They want something from you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. It has to do with whatever career that you're in. They're only feeding the relationship to gain something out of it on their end. Okay, beware of that. Anything for love. Okay, I'm hearing lovers will not be coming towards you until you begin your your direction in life. It's like they want you to get this momentum going and then lovers will start to come. Not until then. So focus on the self right now, Virgo. Focus on who it is you are, what it is you want to achieve to move forward. So don't even, yeah, focus. That's where I would, you know, where your attention goes, energy flows. Isn't that what they say? Okay, very good. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, I didn't tell you what you have. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Focusing on where you want to go as far as career is concerned, the Eight of Pentacles is right next to the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands is right above the Eight of Pentacles. So what is it you're passionate about, Virgo? What is it that lights your fire? right? Figure that out. Work very hard towards this. Because when you're passionate about it, you're focused. And that's where the energy will begin to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's when miracles happen, right? With the Queen of Wands here, this could have something to do with the occult with the black cat here. It doesn't have to, but the Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured, very sexy. She is the temptress of the deck. So, yes, once she gets going on her destined path here, her career path, love is going to come to her. There's no doubt. She's too alluring for it not to. Hmm. Pay attention to work opportunities that may be coming. Let me 
clarify this. Uh, tell me about this Four of Cups. Why is it here? What kind of... Tell me about this Four of Cups. Mm, yeah. This is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. You don't want to miss opportunities that come by. Why? Because let's not forget, Virgo, I've been telling you Jupiter is in your fifth house of romance. Children, creativity. Don't want to miss opportunities because this is your wheel of fate here with the wheel of fortune. <coughs> now, do your research on this, right? Mm, somebody's looking at you in relation to this work. Okay, somebody on the outside is, um, and this is in relation to career, and this is not, this is not freaky. This is not um, a person creeping on you. No, this is somebody interested in your talents, whatever it is that you do. And this is where this offer is going to come in. Tell me about this page of swords. So somebody may be looking on your LinkedIn, your social media, checking out your profile for career. Yeah. They want to make you an offer here with the Six of Pentacles. And they're trying to make it a fair offer. Mm -hmm. See? Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity from the universe. So don't, you don't want to miss it, Virgo, because this is going to get you on this wheel. And this wheel will start turning in the right direction for you. So tell me about the Queen of Wands. I want to know, what are you passionate about? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Okay, it looks like you're starting on something small and you're you're looking at it like, can I make this grow? It's like you have this thought. It's almost like turning a hobby into a, um, or a pastime in, into a career. And you have this thought and you're like, yeah, I'm going to try to make this grow. So you start working. So what's your advice, Spirit, as far as the career is concerned? Let's get some advice here. Then we'll jump ahead a little for you for the love. Take your time. Go slow. There is no rush. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. However, when they get there, their offer is a great offer. It's a solid offer. It's a tangible offer. Okay? It's something that is lasting as well. <coughs> I'm also hearing be patient for there. It could be an earth sign too that's coming towards you, Virgo, slowly. Uh, who's, tell me about um, the person that will be on Virgo's path down the line. Two of Wands. You have to start on this path first. They're reminding you with this Two of Wands. Ooh. Okay, this is a soulmate reunion. It could be a reunion from somebody from your past, but this is your Ten of Cups. This is your happiness. This is your wish fulfillment, um, your emotional fulfillment, sorry. Well, it's your wish fulfillment, too, because you've already had the Nine of Cups. So to get to the Ten of Cups, you have to get through the Nine, right? Yeah. So you'll feel victorious over this in the end. You'll be like, look at me. You'll be seen. You'll be noticed for everything that you've done. As far as career is concerned, you're getting accolades and you're going to be proud to be with whoever this is. I do feel it may be an earth sign. But Spirit is saying, take it slow, take it steady. You will get there, but go towards your passion. You have to do that first or this will not happen. Okay. All right, Virgo, I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.